hello everyone it's Beth pilot here and you're welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be bringing to you one of the most interesting topics of all times which is the runway markings the meanings and their properties we have different types of runway markings so let's get right into the video first and foremost i suggest you start with the displaced threshold the displaced threshold is a threshold positioned at the point of the runway other than the designation beginning of your runway. The displaced threshold can be used for takeoff, taxing, rollout, but not for landing. The reason why the displaced threshold isn't used for landing is because it wouldn't be wise of a pilot to land on the displaced threshold because he'll be too close to obstacles, causing him or her to hit one of the parts or to smack one of the parts of a plane over or on a building. By displacing the threshold further down the runway, it increases the height at which the aircraft will fly over the airport boundary and also the displaced threshold can be used for noise reduction. The displaced threshold consists of a few arrows in the middle of the runway alongside arrowheads across the width of the runway. Secondly, we have the threshold. The threshold is the first part of the runway which shows the space available for landing. The runway's thresholds are markings across the runway, which indicates the beginning and end of the designated space for landing and takeoff operations under non-emergency conditions. The question now is this, can planes actually land on thresholds? Answer is yes, but it wouldn't be wise of a pilot, just like I said in the part of the displaced threshold, while still allowing the pattern aircraft the maximum amount of runway available. The runway threshold consists of eight wide longitudinal markings, which are about 150 feet long, 5.75 feet wide, and are normally found on runways with instrument approaches. Lastly, we have the center lines. The center lines are markings in the middle of the runway, found on one end of the runway to the other end of the runway. The center lines are dashed stripes which are about 120 feet long. Gaps between them are 80 feet wide and a total width of 1 to 3 feet. The purpose of the center line is to create alignment guidance to avoid a pilot smacking a part of an aircraft on buildings, signs and windsor. We have now come to the end of Runway Markings, The Meanings and Your Purposes, Episode 1. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you wish, you can also click on the notification bell to get a notification every time I post my videos. Thank you for watching this video. See you on my next video.